way you guys have made it and thanks for watching. Now first up we're going to go through who's being eliminated. Obviously it's very sad that they've made it this far so congratulations but goodbye to Sam the Solution. I just feel that the competition got too stressful and I was just panicking and I was breaking down and I probably just wasn't, I was caving under the pressure so it was just too much for me. I think it would be nice for James to win because, you know, he's a bit of an underdog so it would be good if he could just, you know, leap up and take the lead and that'd be great. Well, I hope to use synthetic biology to extend the life of all of my animals because I have a lot of them and it would be great if they could live as long as I do. So. I'd like to thank my parents for letting me live in their house with them while I'm at uni. And now we're going to jump straight into the grand final. So today we have Jimmy Jailrunner and Lauren the Lab Monkey competing in an epic battle. Laboratory Stadium is the arena where synthetic biologists take on the challenge of scientific research. Both contestants have 24 hours to tackle the theme ingredient of the day. They need to use all their senses, skills and creativity to prepare the petri dishes never seen before. So today's challenge is to use chlorophyll to create an artistic impression of our project's central theme. If memory serves me right, Earth's greatest source of energy is the sun. Photosynthesis is a process where living organisms use solar energy and all the food that we eat originates from photosynthetic organisms. This leads us to our theme ingredient today, the green pigment required for photosynthesis, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll? Oh man. And their cuisine. Bang a gong, we are on. Both contestants Today, we'll be using molecular biology techniques with chlorophyll as the theme. Chlorophyll A is an organic molecule which can be produced from a precursor known as protoporphyrin 9. The Macquarie Australia iGEM team is trying to complete the insertion of chlamydomonas genes into E. coli. Lauren is acting fast, going straight to the incubator where her agar plates have been warming. Jimmy isn't far behind either. The incubator is set to 37 degrees Celsius, the typical temperature to culture bacteria. Each contestant is preparing a sterile area. They're using aseptic technology technique to prevent contamination of their dishes. Applying the cells to the plate is made all the more difficult because bacteria are too small to see. Come on contestants, final seconds counting down. And that's it, the chlorophyll battle is over. You can see an agar dish containing my representation of protoporphyrin 9. Protoporphyrin 9 has great significance to us because it is the first precursor on the pathway to chlorophyll A synthesis, which occurs naturally in E. coli. Our work so far has been to transform E. coli to contain the genes to take protoporphyrin 9 and turn it into chlorophyll A. Hydrogen hero is his name, and hydrogen production is his game. Give him sunlight and he'll pump it out. Clean energy is what he's all about. He captures the sun and splits water in two. If you do it the right way, that's energy for you. But how does he do it, I hear you say? He transfers electrons during the day. Here's the verdict. Lauren the Lab Monkey! Well, at the end of the day, Lauren kind of blew me out of the water. Um, I'm happy to have come as far as I did, uh, but I think today the best synthesizer won. I've done it! I've won So You Think You Can Synthesize! 